is why Susan is always getting stuck in airports, because she, this is what she does. She's out there. Um, our, the history that we've just described to you is so important, and parents' roles has been, have been so important. But I think it's also, we all know, everyone in this room, that it's not a perfect world. The, the way that schools and parents work together can be very positive and very outcomes-oriented and very satisfying, or it can be frustrating and difficult and challenging. I think if we look back in the 1970s and early 80s, after the idea was passed, we kind of entered into a period where the special education profession was growing at a rapid rate, and I put, you know, I, I was a special educator then, so I probably, I hope I didn't do this, but I think one of the things that happened in the special education profession is that we were like, we're a new profession now, and we sometimes saw ourselves as the experts and didn't, I think, acknowledge family voices to the degree that we should have. Luckily, I think we got a little smarter by the mid-80s and we said, wait a minute, parents are the experts, we need to be listening to parents. And we kind of got back on track and a lot of the parent organizations and the work that NAFI has done um, really have focused on how can we help parents become true partners in the educational planning process. Um, so I think we've gotten better at recognizing how parents can be partners, but we're still on that journey and that's why we're so interested in this whole idea of family leadership. So here we are today. Um, the work that Susan and I have been doing in this project has really convinced us that we really still need parent leaders. The job is not done just because we have the idea. We still have a long way to go. Um, so we really need um, parent leaders who combine their strengths at the individual advocacy level with a greater level and a greater joining together with other parents. Once we start collaborating with other people, we can really expand our circles of influence and have the power to really bring about change. We really think it's important to acknowledge that people do lead at all levels. We have the parents that we know who are kind of out there. There are models of parent leadership. They're doing things that are very visible in the community. They're running organizations. They're leading groups. They may be advocating for legislation and so on. But probably the bulk of what gets done that we call leadership is really that behind the scenes leadership. All of you who are out there also doing things like um, forming parent support groups, putting bake sales together to support your schools, all the work that's going out in the hallway right here today. So there's lots of behind the scenes leadership and together these various levels of leadership really combine to make us more powerful as a group. So one of the things we really hope you'll do today as you go out through the day and network with other people is to celebrate all the ways in which right now all of you are, are leading and making a difference.